Hi everyone, today I would like to talk to you about a small red cage that I purchased for my Sony a7 III. Okay, so first off, I just want to say that I wasn't sponsored by any means by small rig and it's my opinion my opinion on the kit that i purchased i'll show you why i purchased the specific kit and i'll show you how to disassemble assemble and features and i'll show you my rig out in the field to give you an idea how the whole setup work once you put the camera in it and everything else but first off let's talk about the rig itself it's very light it's sturdy and it's great lots of option the cage itself I decided to go bare on it because I want to uh, use my uh, universal handle that I purchased with it. So it's wooden handle is very comfortable. It's very sturdy. There's a lot of different options and a lot of good thing I like about it. And then I wanted to have this monitor mount on top instead of buying the kit that have the handle and everything. I decided to go this avenue and build my own. So one thing that's great about this cage is there's a lot of options of customization and there's like quarter holes almost everywhere around this cage you can mount a tripod plate under the cage as well there is uh, this monitor mount I have a airy mount on there and it's two position for this i could put it right here or right there i'll show you the close up in a second now there is holes all over the place so i bought some uh, small rig quarter inch male to male screws because I have a plate come in with my plate. What I gotta be doing here is I'm probably gonna mount it somewhere around here and I'll put the plate right there. I'm gonna have a battery, a power pack battery gonna use to power my camera via a dummy battery. So it's on the way. So I'll do another video, show you guys how it works. So the link's gonna be somewhere at the bottom once I create it. And then uh, you can choose different handles and I decided to go with the universal handle for a reason. Uh, it's so easy to customize where the handle is going to go. You can put it on either side of the rig. There is holes that's going to make it work on both sides. So that's a question I had when I first uh, purchased the handle. I was looking online to see if I could mount this onto the A7 III cage. And yes, you can put it on either side. And there's different ways to move the actual arm up and down. So I'll show you a little... Um, quicker time lapse how to do that in a second but the, the handle itself I have a cold shoe on top and as well two quarter inch and a three eight inch hole so you can mount different things as well you can have a little bracket in the side put your monitor somewhere around here if you want and that's pretty much it so I won't elaborate too much on this the only thing I'm gonna say is all the holes that are situated on the cage are perfect all the like on the camera all the compartments open and the little doors don't get caught in anything that's designed perfectly one um, bad reviews i had read online is once you insert the camera you get the screws at the bottom and basically what happened is the camera was shifting a little bit if uh if the camera is not tight enough in there it will shift a tiny bit there's no rubber at the bottom so basically I carry a quarter or I carry a multi-tool with me so I can actually um, make sure that this screw is tight on the camera and then I don't have that issue anymore okay so I will go ahead and dismantle this and do a little uh, quick time lapse to show you how you can uh, pretty much take this uh, handle and move things apart and around and then I'll come back and then we'll quickly gonna go after that, take a look at my rig out in the field.
it is. So this is my rig and all the parts will be in the description below. So you can uh, take a look and order these parts if that's what you want. And one last thing I'm going to say about this handle. I went for this one versus the one with the rosette. The one with the rosette looks very comfortable as well. And this one is comfy for me. I didn't have any issue. Uh, the reason why I went with this one is I could either go left or right, but also uh, it's very flexible. I can actually move the middle part up and down. I can mount the bar here. If I have something or cables that comes in the way, I can really adjust the uh, the rig the way I want and then I can tailor that to my needs. So that's why I chose this one over the other one. And it's a little uh, cheaper. The price mark is a little um, lower. So here you have it. So let's go and take a look at the rig once the camera is mounted in the field. <music> b-roll right now and I want to show you my rig so I've been shooting for three or two days sorry we're out here for three days and we're shooting for gray wolf expeditions and I'm just tying up my clips right now with some quick b-rolls and I am using my 100 to 400 it's a Canon L series I'm using on my Sony a7 III but primarily I want to show you what I use what you see right there so I'm using the small rig cage the a7 III cage I have the universal handle and I have a little mount for my monitor. So yeah, I'm using the Feel World F6. So it's a 5.7 inch monitor, it's 4K, and this has been a real jam this weekend. For sound, I am using the Zoom H4N Pro, and this worked great. I don't have a shotgun mic at the moment, I'm just recording the sound straight from the microphone. That comes with the unit, and it works great. So it's very versatile. I can just take that off the tripod. I've been shooting handheld with like a 24 to 70, um, primarily throughout the first two days. But this is a good, quick setup that I carry around a lot. Mm -hmm. 